Hello, today we are here uh, to look at the three axis gimbal from Came TV. Uh, it comes in this box and you will be able, you can purchase this at www.came-tv.com. I will show you what, how it arrives in the box. Here it comes in, comes in a cushion box. All pieces and parts are, pre are assembled into packages. Uh, the key thing about this one is that uh, the motors are already uh, attached to the structure. What we will do today is talk to you about how to assemble the structure together. Okay, now I have uh, removed all of the pieces from the box and now I am planning on, on assembling the three axis gimbal. I think the best way to begin is to do just as I have done here. I would recommend that you organize the parts in according to the way that they will be assembled. It will give you a point of reference as you develop. I also recommend that you have a picture or instructions to look at. Uh, as you are uh, assembling uh, the uh, structure here. As you see, the motors are already assembled. You do, it will come that way in the box. You do not have to participate, do have anything to do with putting the motors together. It will come exactly like this. So I will start by developing the first part, which is the lower armature. That involves this structure, which comes this way, already uh, assembled. You can see this is already oriented in the way that the gimbal will be held. So you have a post coming up and side arms coming around. There's one motor here and another motor here. Um, the first thing we do is on this post we will attach this, uh, this corner piece or this uh, joint. Um, it, it attaches to the points. You can see screws which are adjustment screw, screws which allows this to slide over the post. You will probably need to make some adjustments to get this on. There's a solid piece, piece at the top. And you can make some adjustments, maybe finger tight to start with. You will be able to come back at the end after putting this together and I recommend that you check all screws to make sure they are tightly fastened. So this is our first connection. Next connection will be made with, there are three tubes that come with the assembly. Look for the tube that has the thickest wall in it. That is the f first tube you will use to connect to this in this connection. You may need to keep these loose enough so that the joint will slide enough for the tube to slide into. The head of the screws are wire and have a grip to them so you will be able to adjust them by your fingertips as you go. Push the tube in until it seats very well. Once it's seated, then you can tighten it to finger tight. And then with the tools that are provided, tighten it down. completes this part of the armature. The last piece will be this piece that will connect eventually. You will align it. It has two openings on both ends. 
you will put it over the tube until it goes through the second opening. Likewise, you have screws with finger grips that you can loosen on the side and that will make it easier for you to slide over the tube. It will be the four lower ones on the, on the frame. You'll see that the frame will split apart and then you can slide that onto the tube. That should be far enough. Get it level as you can. Then begin to finger tighten the screws. And then to tighten down further with the tool. There are three tools that come with the set. Find the one that fits the screw head the best. And that will tighten this part. So we have developed everything up to this point which will connect to the motor at the top. Now let's concentrate on the area where the camera is held where the, there's a frame here for the seat for the camera. This is the part that will go into the, the bottom. On each end is a key. On both ends is a key. And you will see in the seat here there is a keyway. In the keyway you will place the, the seat and this is, it makes this adjustable so that you can fit different, different size of uh, cameras in here. Once you have that in place, you can turn this on its side. You should do that. It's probably best to get out these screws. Of the black screws that you will get with your set, the larger ones are the ones that you use in this location. At the ends, at the end of the joints that this will slide up and down, you'll see two setting screw receivers. As best you can, you should align these to finger tighten. Once again, use your tool to tighten it into general generally in place. It may be easier to connect the screw to the tool and then place it into the place it needs to go. Now very carefully so this does not slide out. Move this over to the other side and repeat the operation. You see that there are places here. That should be tight for now. Now we have this in place. This can be adjusted up and down when you get it to the location you want it to. You tighten the screw on the side. One more, there's two more parts to this assembly. And this is for assembling for attaching the camera to the gimbal. You'll get an extension arm that will come with this. You will see that it has a, a recess or seat in it with a hole. You will, light, you will set that here. Finding another one of the larger screws. 
place the screw in the hole, align, and align up the brace. You can attach that by finger hold. The, the length of the screw is long enough, and then you can tighten that down. You'll see that it has the brace in place and secure. Then you will add a connector with a knob at the top. The connector will be at the bottom. You will attach this at the top. Likewise, to attach the camera, you have a, a finger tightening screw that you will be familiar with that connects to the bottom of the to the uh, receptive uh, screw on the bottom of your camera. That will attach to these, these uh, elongated, hole, elongated holes that you can attach this to and you can see how that would connect to the camera to the apparatus. Okay, that is the end of the presentation on this part of the gimbal. Now we'll be talking about the armature for the top part a few minutes. Okay, now that we have connected, uh, uh, put together the lower part of the gimbal, let's put together the top part, then we will put them together. Um, I recommend in this situation too, remember, this will be the main part that will connect everything together. Um, but I recommend that, see, there will be this part. There will be two parts here. There will be two connectors, two handles, and then from here, this will continue. This will continue up from the back. There will be a armature that comes up, and then there will be another handle right here. So, what we will do is build the joints first. We'll build the joints first. So, I'll put everything else out of the way. You have gotten several pieces uh, that will make up the connections. Okay, now we will go ahead and take the trusses, call these truss pieces, and uh, connect them. The silver part will go on the outside. They go on the outside, so you'll put these together like this. We'll take of, if you will, kind of clamp-like devices. You see they will go together to hold, to go and clamp around the post. These will go in between. Now, one thing to remember on these is that these will go, sorry, this direction, like this. There will be one set here, one set here, and then the next set will go vertically, like that. So let's do, let's put these together. There'll be a set of screws that come with the package too. You can use those to connect these together. Let's see how that's going together. And that goes together like that. And so you want these to line up the same way and you just screw these together. You should be able to tighten these down with your fingers pretty much to a point to get them in place. You can come back and tighten these up and you'll need to later. You want to leave them loose so that the heads, these will stay apart so that the pipe will go through. these through. You can use one of the tools if you need to to get this started. Be sure that the threads line up correctly.
to leave a little play room in there. Take two more. We'll put those in here. side from the threading these through until they connect with the nut on the other side and tighten those down. Not all the way. Remember not to tighten these down too far. Now you see you have two sets, two sets here. The next ones will go vertical. Sometimes it's easier to lay these down. You slide these in, take your screws, and thread through. And then you have a set at the back. Thread those through. Good enough for that. Now one more set, and this joint will be complete. Be more difficult to see. It's a repeat of the previous one. You put these together, slide these in, and then two, two screws to hold them together. I turn this around so you can see, so it's coming from the opposite side. Thread through. be tight enough. I don't know if you can see I'm leaving gaps so the apparatus can separate. This one likewise seems to work very well just to lay it down on a table and thread it through. Once you've threaded it through then it's easy to screw these together once you get this lined up. Some of the screws may be a little more stubborn than the others, so. Okay. So you can see we have one connector together here. We're going to repeat that same process for the next one. While we're at it, I'm going to go ahead and put, assemble this. This is going to be a vertical part that connects to the handle on the, at the top part. So, we'll assemble these the same way. Keeping in mind way, the way that these tubes will be going in. At the top, you will have a tube that comes in this way. At the bottom, you have a tube that comes this way. So. That gives you a clue which way to put the, the clamps in there. So they would go, maybe the first one would go like this. Takes maybe more than one hand here to do this, but sorry, put that on the wrong side. Once you have the first one started, it's, it gives some stability to putting this together. Just as the screw starts to stick out of the other side, you can stop. One part. 
These next two you may not be able to lay down on the table and thread with, but since you've gotten it started, it'll be easier. So you hold this one in place, thread through the first one, thread through the second one. with the next one. Thread through the screw on the sidewall. Thread through both pieces until you feel it connect with the other side. You will have extra screws left over if some of these don't fit snug or do not go through very well. So you can definitely see the routine is to continue to first ones lay down and then thread through. Somewhat stubborn. Looks like we have one more set left to go. When putting this gimbal together, I do not recommend doing it at the last moment. Maybe you can do it, plan some little time before you go out on your shoot. Uh, I'll have plenty of time to do this and be patient with it. I said you may have to try few other screws as you can you'll find in your package you get extras and that one seems to fit a little better once again you want to leave a little play in these so that you can get the tube to pass through okay I will set these off to the side as we start to put the parts together, bring out our centerpiece. We'll have two tubes, one to each side. This one, we've got these loosened up so that they will come apart well. The tubes will fit into the ends. Take a little bit of adjustment, push it down to you fill it seat, and then you will tighten these down.
one in place. Let's put the other one in place. Spread them apart as best you can. And insert the tube through both sets. There's two sets. See two sets of of clamps. We have to you may have to adjust these out a little bit to get them to spread out a little bit. Just seated so that one's in place. Once they've seated, you tighten down the screws. If you have a little difficulty putting these together, sliding these tubes in place, do not think you're doing it incorrectly. Just Persistent. Now you've got the arm in place. Ultimately, go like this. So now we'll put the clamps. These clamps go at the the ends of this. These two clamps will go all the way over till both of them connect. See, this one does not have a seat, so it has to slide through, and you just want it to go to the edge. Continue to the edge of the clamp. At that point, align them and tighten them down. You will tighten down one, two, three, four screws. the other side, same thing. You have two clamps, the other one has two close together. You put these far, the ones that are far apart together, line them up over the post, over the arm post. Loosen these up a little bit. I did the trick, it's sliding through. 
have that tube aligned up with the edge of that other and adjust the arms as best you can to make them straight. Now you will tighten down the screws around these. The next step is going to be inserting the, the handles. Okay, so you have that part done. Um, Two of your handles, it will go forward like this. You'll see the two trusses or the two clamps here. Make sure those are loosened up well so that you can fit these in without too much trouble or with less trouble. See that it's seated down all the way. It's gone through both sets. When you feel that as in place, tighten these down. sure that these are loose enough for me to move. You may have a little trouble because they won't, may not separate as well because you've already clamped down on the, the arm post, but it might go down okay. The other one did, yeah. They all slid in place. That one's seated. Once it's seated, then you can tighten this down. Now you have the handles in place. Now we're going to place um, the, the other armature. And we have one more tube and a handle. So we have these parts here all remaining. So we'll place this tube in here. The best thing probably to do is here is to loosen these up a little bit. So at least we'll, that tube will slide in there fine. Now this shorter tube, this is the shortest tube that you would have received in your package slide in here and seat through this there's two sets of clamps Let's see that one went through and tighten these down the finger tight
one last truss uh, joint to, to connect. Separate those. Look at this to see which way it's going to be oriented. Uh, this will orient back into the apparatus like this. So I'm trying to slide this in through this hole. Separate these as best you can. You need to loosen up some of the screws again. That may help. One through. Separate the other one. Once again, it'll just go out. You can adjust it how you want, but this would probably be best to have it right to the edge of the clamp. At this point, you can tighten. Tighten the screws down. Last one is like uh, we'll go in this side. No, this side. And you see here, slide through the clamps. They should be loosened up so that the tube will pass through. That one both is seated very well. Tighten these up. Now, now that we have everything secure and in place, let us put the top and the bottom part of the, of the gimbal together. So bring over the bottom part. Set it up so that the, the connection here, which will be a pivoting area, uh, will meet with this part. They will insert together. Now before you put these together, I want you to know, there are one, two setting screws, and with your tool, you can come and you can adjust this out so that when you slide this together, it will stay together. So, or it'll be easier for it to go together. So, yeah, I'll put this together, and this is the completed um, uh, gimbal. Uh, three axis gimbal by uh, uh, came, came TV and so if you are interested in this you can purchase this at www.came-tv.com our next video will be on how to attach the control board and battery and all the wiring through here so that will be our next video uh, stay tuned thank you